2023, I achieved my number one goal of becoming the PvP champion of the world. Santiana, the new EFC champion! Congratulations, Party Popper, you have done it. And now that I've got a title belt under my belt, there's only one more goal I have for this year. Put out the best magic finding video on this entire platform. But there's a lot of MFers out there. A lot of magic finders, too. According to statistics, regular schmuck is the PVM champ. Dude's got fire in those finds. If I was ever gonna make a video better than him, there's only one way to do it. Cheat. For months on Battle.net, I did boss rushes in bugged MF games, gambled for hours with infinite gold, ran terror zones, and even PK'd some random Canadian guy in order to find at least 20 enigmas worth of value. More value than all of regular schmucks MF videos combined for this year. Probably. Was I able to obtain the PvP and PvM crowns for 2023? You decide. Let me know down below. In case you're not familiar with the bugged MF Easter egg, Mr. Lama did a video explaining it here. The souls in game will do a ritual if you wait long enough, and when they're finished, your character is blessed with a metric ass ton of magic find. Before you know it, magic items, rare items, and even uniques will be dropping viciously from heroes harboring next to no added magic find. We did this before practically every MF run. Just a normal set of monsters over here. Don't worry about us, boys. Zero MF. And if you don't know about the infinite gold thing yet, you can also check that out right here. Taking advantage of these things on Battle.net felt like we smashed a power-up in Super Mario. Regular schmuck was about to lose that title that he clearly knew he had, and the competition that he clearly knew he was in. second clip alone possesses more value than approximately 97.8% of all magic finding videos on YouTube. And if that isn't worthy of a like, then you can f*** right off. We are only getting started. We march our little magic find feet into the east. Always into the east. But sometimes into the west. Much like the sponsor of today's video, Wukong M to the west. In this title, you can immerse yourself in mind-blowing 3D graphics where eastern and western mythical forces collide. Bizarre demons awaken amidst chaos and the world needs a champion to save it. No, they, they didn't put me in the game yet. In this oriental MMORPG, you can play as Sun Wukong, the Monkey King, as you become the hero of the east. But if you really want to win, I would suggest playing as the Dragonborn. This girl boasts massive AoE and does both magic and physical damage combined. And we all know how powerful that can be. In this captivating title and with my link below, you can play like a millionaire. Claim 100 million diamonds at will with over 100 mounts and a thousand plus cosmetics to choose from. Explore diverse social interactions in this epic adventure. The flashy skills and magnificent combos are sure to make this newly released title a critical hit. Wukong M is pushing the limits of what free-to-play MMORPGs can be. Download it today with my link below and check it out for yourself. And now, back to Sanctuary. If you want to be the PVM magic finding champion, you got to do it all. You want to call drops, you better know exactly what you find before you ID it. That is what a champion does. All right, perfect tea gods. We can settle for that. We could, we could settle for perfect tea gods today, huh? Just like that, boys. Huh? That's pretty good. We got a unique amulet here. Obviously, this is going to be a perfect Mars, and if it's not, it's going on the ground. I fucking told you, boys. <laughs> Dude, two unique rings back to back. Well, this one can't be bad, right? There's no shot. This one can be bad. I fucking told you. 3 20, 20. We're going to get this, too. Stop
is a log in a suit looking naked. If you want to be an MF champion, you can by no means highlight trash items like these ultra rare unique gloves. These are not perfect. Trash. These dual res MF boots could be tri res. Trash. Oh, look at this sweet Max AR lifer charm we found right after that. Trash. I found myself a Shaco, popped it right out of a chest, man. That's so rare, you know what you say about that. Trash. If the facet that you found ain't a 5-5 five five facet, then you better craft with it instead. If we find a facet like a 5 fire facet, we trash it if the color ain't red. If you want to be champ, you gotta stop looking on the ground for pennies and keep your eyes peeled for dollars. But the 9,000 does not apply to this. And sometimes, you just don't need it. Whew. Merry Christmas, guys. And with that find, we finally did it. We stashed enough sick rips to trade for 20 plus Enigma sets. But you know how we roll on this channel. We, d we didn't actually want 20 separate Enigmas. We wanted one Enigma worth 20 enigmas. So we bought this perfect base with our proceeds and used all the wealth we found in trade value to try and randomly roll an enigma with a perfect 775 base. And with our incredible luck, that happened first try. And it even happened first try. We did it first try. Easy. Game is so fucking easy, man. What were your best finds from this year? Let me know down below. Big shout out to regular schmuck. He actually had uh, no idea. No idea I was doing this. You can check out his channel below. Great guy and sick MF highlights. Enjoy your new year, everyone. Double champ out.